You're probably here because you're either curious about what the at override annotation is, or you've received the message, method does not override or implement a method from a supertype, and you're curious how to fix it. So I'm going to divide this video into two parts. First, a quick answer on how to fix that error message I described before, and then after that, an explanation on the business case behind the at override annotation, because it is an important case. So maybe I answer your question right away, and if so, that's great. If not, keep watching and we'll talk about what the override annotation is. So first to explain this, I have set up a simple project that looks like this. So we have a class called driver, which is essentially going to be doing some work. And then driver has a uses a relationship with vehicle. Uh, so vehicle is a noun. It's also acting as a superclass, as you can probably tell from this uh, arrow that's pointing up to it. So vehicle is a general type. Celica is a more specific type of vehicle. So Celica is a subclass of vehicle. So let's take a look at the source code. If we take a look at vehicle, you'll see I have a method called go here, and the driver is going to invoke this method called go. So let's see what happens when I run the program. You're going to see that this line prints out vehicle moved 100 kilometers. Okay, now let's go to Celica because Celica is what driver is actually creating. Celica is the object type. So I go to Celica, and let's say I want to tailor that message. Instead of saying vehicle moved 100 kilometers, I want to say Celica moved 100 kilometers. So in the class called Celica, I can type go. This is a NetBeans, so I can hold control and press space. And it notices that I want to overwrite a method in the superclass. Uh, in Eclipse, and I want to say IntelliJ, Alt, Enter. Actually, in Eclipse, it's Control-1 and IntelliJ, Alt, Enter. Uh, actually, IntelliJ, I believe you start typing, and it actually kind of gives you a hint. Hey, do you want to override this method? But nonetheless, I do want to override the method from the superclass. So I go ahead and say, yes, override that method. Notice that it gives me the at override annotation. Now, let's remember what overwriting is. I'm going to jump to the last slide here. Whoops, just a moment. I'm going to jump to the last slide. And let's remember that overwrite a method means we have the same method signature in the superclass and the subclass. Don't confuse that with overload a method. We'll get to overloading in just a moment. But let's stick with overwriting for now. So you see, right now, everything is just fine. But watch what happens. Uh, and why is, sorry, why is everything just fine? Notice the method signature here in Celica. If I go up to vehicle, you see that exact same method signature here. So we have fulfilled that contract where the method go in Celica is overriding the method uh, with the same name in vehicle. Now, watch what happens when I do this. Uh, let's think about, um, uh, actually, I'll tell you what, let me go up to uh, vehicle. Let me uh, go up to vehicle and make a change. So let's say that driver and vehicle are provided to us by a software company, and we have provided our own extension, and that extension is called Celica. Okay, fair enough. So Celica does some things that are specific for our application, where driver and vehicle have been provided by a software company. Now, two years from now, software company comes out and says, hey, I want you to upgrade. Okay, uh, and so we take an upgrade, and guess what has happened in that time? Well, uh, vehicles have become autonomous. So we take this go method, and I add a second parameter, a Boolean, which is uh, driverless. And I'm also going to change the call to this from vehicle, uh, I'm sorry, from driver. I'm going to have it uh, pass in a number and also a, we'll say false, to say this is not currently driverless. So notice that the method call has changed. I'll go ahead and save that. And in vehicle, notice that the method signature has changed. Okay, now notice that Celica has a compile error. Let's look at that compile error. Wow, what is this? Method does not override or implement a method from supertype. Let's go back to our presentation. What did we start with? Method does not override or implement a method from a supertype. So what that means is Celica, the method here, no longer matches the method in vehicle. Notice the method in vehicle has two parameters. The method in Celica only has one. Okay, this is going to give us a compile time error until we make these two match. So, and by the way, ignore this error down below. That's not directly related. 
So how do I fix the error? This is one case where the context sensitive help is not very helpful uh, because, it, because what it's going to say if I choose Alt Enter is it's going to say, well, actually, if I go over here, if I click over here, the option it gives us is remove the at override annotation. Now that will remove the error, but the problem is we have a logic error now. Uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second. Let me go back and fix the error the right way. To fix the error the right way, we need to make these two methods match. So I'm going to say int distance boolean driverless, and suddenly the error goes away. Okay, so that's the short version. If you're getting this message, what it means is you have a subclass and a superclass, and the uh, superclass method signature does not match the subclass method signature. The proper fix is to simply make them match, which might require a bit more research. So that's the short version. Let me jump in a bit more now and explain why the at override annotation is important. And for this, I'm going to jump back quickly to the presentation. So by the way, we're right now on the second bullet point, why at override. Okay. To understand this, we have to understand a little bit about polymorphism. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably heard this before. And FYI, if you're going to be in a technical interview, expect this question. If you're going to give a technical interview, I would ask this question. So polymorphism, the name is more confusing than the concept. The concept can be described in one sentence. So let's start with this prerequisite knowledge. In Java, we'll typically have a syntax like this, where we have a variable type, a variable name, and then the word new, and then a constructor call. Now, it's calling a constructor on an object type here. Object type does not have to be the same as the variable type. Uh, there, uh, there are some rules around that. Uh, we'll get into that uh, maybe a little bit later. But nonetheless, those two types do not need to be the same. For example, Let's go back and take a look at driver. Take a look at my line number 19 here. Vehicle V equals new Celica. So vehicle is the variable type. Celica is the object type. Okay, um, now polymorphism, the one line definition, which I've actually split into two lines here. Variable type tells you what methods you are allowed to call. Object type tells you what will happen when you call those methods. That's important. And I can demonstrate that right here. Take a look at what happens if I take my Celica. Let me, let me just, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to borrow some logic from the uh, vehicle method, and I'm going to paste that down in the Celica method. Okay, boom, there we go. Except I'm going to wait, make one small change. Instead of saying vehicle moved, I'm going to say Celica moved. Okay, now notice that I have the exact same method signature in subclass Celica as I have in superclass vehicle. Now let me go back to driver and let's take a look. Vehicle V equals new Celica V.go. Now my question to you, which Go method is going to get invoked? The one in vehicle or the one in Celica? And we'll be able to tell by looking at the output line uh, what gets printed to output. So let's find out. I choose run. Celica moved 100 kilometers. So you see now, even with having the variable type vehicle, the method that was called in this case was the overridden method in the subclass Celica. So that comes back polymorphism. Variable type tells you what methods you're allowed to call. Object type tells you what will happen when you call those methods. A very important concept in programming. So uh, a couple other definitions. Inherit a method. That's what we had in my very first example before I made this overridden method. We were inheriting the logic from vehicle. Overwrite a method. That means we have the same method signature in superclass and in subclass. That's exactly what we just did with that go method. Overload a method. That means the same method name but a different signature, different parameters. So now that we know inherit, override, and overload, let's go back and take a look at our example again. Uh, let's pretend that we're back to our first case where we're getting our error message. Okay, I take away that signature item. We get the error message, method does not override or implement a method from supertype. And we're saying that this happened because we've received an update from our, our software vendor 
they've given us a new version of vehicle and the method signature on vehicle has changed. Okay, now instead of fixing it like we did earlier, let's pretend that we take the shortcut, uh, the, the cheap option, and let's just do whatever this warning tells us to do. The warning says remove the at override annotation. So let's say I remove this. I would not recommend doing it, but it's what I've just done. Now I want to show you what's going to happen. Look at the method signature here. You see it contains one parameter. Look at the method signature here. You see it contains two parameters. Now this is the superclass with two parameters. This is the subclass with one parameter. Tricky question. What are we doing here? Are we overwriting or are we overloading? In this case we're overloading, which means the same method name, different parameter list. Now, really tricky, let's go to driver and let's consider what driver's doing. Which is this going to call now? We still have vehicle as our variable type. We still have Celica as our object type. When I invoke the go method with two parameters, is it going to invoke the method in vehicle that accepts two parameters? Or is it going to invoke the method in Celica, which has only one parameter? Let's find out. So I run, vehicle moved 100 kilometers. Okay, now stop and think about that. We just got an update from our software vendor. We got a new driver and a new vehicle. The method has changed in vehicle. This has given us a logic error. A logic error is when a program compiles and runs, but doesn't do what we expect it to do. In this case, we've written the Celica class to extend the software that we got from our software provider. And all of a sudden, since we've taken this upgrade, we no longer get this custom logic that we wrote in the Celica class, but everything compiles and runs. Logic errors are notoriously hard to find, notoriously hard to identify in testing. And the value of this at override annotation is look at this override. It changes what would have been a logic error into a compile time error. Because now when I save, look, I get a bunch of red and it tells me, uh-oh, I can't compile. And in order to get this to compile, I have to do a little bit of research and say, oh gosh, oh yeah, I see the superclass signature changed. I need my subclass to match that. So let's put it back. Boolean driverless. And let's run one more time. And now once again, I wanna ask you, are we overloading or overwriting? Those two words are very similar. In this case, we are overwriting because we have the same method signature, subclass and superclass. So now when I run driver and I pass in two parameters, it's going to match the signature in vehicle and it's also going to match the same signature in Celica. So which one's going to get called? Remember polymorphism, variable type tells us what methods we're allowed to call, uh, object type tells us what's going to happen. So remember last time before we made the fix, the output was vehicle. Let's watch what happens this time. Back to Celica. So you see what happened there is that at override annotation told us, hey, don't you want to override something because currently you're not. And it's meant for this specific scenario. So let me summarize then. Where do you need the add override annotation? Do you need it on every single method that you have in a class? And the answer is no. Uh, and that's actually the question that got this video started. I had a student who thought uh, that it was necessary to put that annotation on every method and was confused on why she was getting some errors. I said, oh, okay, that's why. You only need to use this annotation when you actually are overriding a method from a superclass and you want to be informed when that method signature changes. If I were to make a custom method on this, uh, let's say uh, public void um, warranty, okay, and I say uh, string foo equals call Toyota, okay, I don't need the add override annotation on this because you see this is a method that is local to Celica. It's not one that we're going to see in vehicle or any superclass. So the at override annotation is not going to work here. So you only need to put that at override annotation when you're actually overriding a method. And the good news is if you use that shortcut that I showed you earlier, the control space, 
it will automatically add that for you. So it's kind of smart. Let me wrap up with one bonus here. Uh, warranty. Notice that this method is local to Celica. What happens if I try to say V dot warranty? Can't do it. Can't do it. That method exists on Celica, but I cannot call it. And why can I not call that method? Because remember the definition of polymorphism. Variable type tells you what methods you're allowed to call. The method warranty is on Celica, but it is not on vehicle. Because my variable type is vehicle, I cannot call that method. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if so, you know, of course, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all the good old things. And uh, let me know what else can be helpful. Thank you.